All right, so I just got this in the mail. Brand new, 4060, the Asus Dual OC Edition card. Uh, it should be out tomorrow. You should be able to buy it tomorrow, but the embargo and all that should be lifted tomorrow also. NVIDIA sent me this in the mail. I'm very happy that they sent me this because I've been wanting to get one of these because I have a different perspective than what you're going to see from a lot of other reviewers out there. But first of all, thank you NVIDIA for sending me this, especially on such short notice. They really went out of their way to get this card to me. And uh, so I'm trying now to just at least get this video out, kind of go along with the wave of other videos coming out, but it's going to come from a different perspective. And that is from a streamer. I think that uh, this card offers a lot of benefits if you're building a stream PC. Now, I'm not gonna talk about gaming performance. Listen, there are tons of videos out there that came out today that are talking about the game performance of the 4060 compared to other competitors out there in that price bracket of $299. I'm not going there. Um, this is going to cover strictly the streaming capabilities of the 4060 and whether or not I think it's worth it giving what, given what it does. And I think in the end, when you find out it is right now the best value that you can get when you combine all of its features together. So let's go ahead now and get to the video. All right, so one of the things that you have when you get a 4000 series card or any RTX card for that matter is NVIDIA Broadcast. NVIDIA Broadcast includes some functionality to uh, enhance your microphone, your speakers, and your camera. Namely, it's really noise suppression and it uses AI-based noise suppression. Now this came out a while back, uh, but you know, you have noise suppression for your microphone, you have noise suppression for your speakers, and then you have camera effects such as adding a background blur and you also have an auto frame feature that you can use. Now for NVIDIA broadcast, again, you have to have an RTX card. So the 4060 gives you the ability to use NVIDIA broadcast as part of your stream. You also have now built-in functionality within OBS. So let's take a look at that now. Listen, another thing that you can do is you can also use NVIDIA broadcast inside of OBS. So what you need to do is you need, if you have an RTX card like 4060, then you need to download the SDKs, the audio, the video, and AR SDKs. And then that will add built-in filters inside of OBS Studios where you can do things such as go in and add a background removal filter. Now, again, you have to have the RTX cards to do this, but I mean, that's not too bad. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty good, right? Not too shabby for uh, background removal. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Now, you know, it's kind of goofy up here a little bit if you move around, but you know, but that's what you can do with the RTX card. So there is value there by having NVIDIA broadcast with an RTX card, such as the 4060 or any other uh, RTX card. Now, something specific with the 4000 series card that I'll now want to talk about, and that is the use of AV1 encoding. All right, so AV1. Now, I, you know, got the 4060 installed yesterday into my gaming PC, currently running a single gaming and streaming PC using the 4060. I live stream to YouTube. Now, YouTube now supports AV1 streaming. Simple setup through OBS using YouTube's RTMPS format now that you can go and use AV1. So let's take a look at that real quick. This is how you would set up AV1 using the YouTube RTPMS, and then you can connect your account if you want to. But the big things you need to worry about are in output and video. So in streaming, I'm using the NVIDIA NVENC AV1 encoding instead of your conventional H.264. And I have the normal settings here, but I have maxed this thing out to slowest, best quality of P7, high quality. And then I'm using two pass encoding. Uh, my profile main and my GPU, of course, is at zero max frames of four, two seconds key interval based on what YouTube recommends here. And then you have the video settings. All right, you got the video settings here. I am at 1440p at 60 frames per second. And then in advanced, you need to select your color format that supports AV1 right now, currently uh, MV12. And I think it's the P10, uh, if I do believe. Uh, both support AV1 and I can check that real quick because it will not allow me to record in AV1, which it currently is. So there you go. Uh, but those settings are both 
required to be used so that you can use AV1. Otherwise, it's going to give you an error. But the point is, is that AV1 is the newest encoding format that the 4000 series card supports. That includes the 4060. So with the 4060, you're now getting the ability to use AV1, which is going to give you a better, sharper stream for your viewers at the same bit rate that you were using before for H.264 or X.264. It's going to beat both of those out in quality by a long shot. Now I have a sample here that I will put and you can see just what it looks like in AV1. I was using Battlefield 2042, which is a CPU intensive game, very heavy graphics, and it's very hard to get it to look good on stream because there's so much rendering and encoding that has to go on because there's so much changing. It's a first person shooter, all kinds of dynamic, uh, you know, uh, video effects going on within your scene because of that. And as a result, using something like X264 or the conventional NVENC is even at, you know, higher bit rates, you tend to get some sort of artifacts going on from pixelation from where it's trying to render the, all that, you know, new data. Well, with AV1, it does a better job at that and you get a nice cleaner looking quality stream at higher, uh, you know, uh, resolutions at a lower bit rate. So I was running an 8K bit rate and it really looked fantastic. That is where I think you get the value because AV1 is the next big thing. And currently all the latest gen uh, Intel, AMD, and now the NVIDIA uh, GPUs support that. At $299, the 4060 is the cheapest way to get both the AV1 and NVIDIA broadcast functionality within OBS. That is it. That's what we have. So at $299, I think if you're looking at either a single PC uh, gaming system or for the 4060 specifically, if you're going to build a streaming PC and you wanted to buy a GPU to take advantage of AV1 and you also use the NVIDIA broadcast, then I think the 4060 is a no-brainer for your streaming PC. So I think Given the 4060 is such a value when it comes to streaming and using it in a streaming PC, what I've done is I went into PC Parts Picker and I built my current setup using, you know, the parts that I could as best as I could. Like they don't make my case anymore. So I got one that was equivalent in price. And then I had to add an older video card that was equivalent to what the retail price of the 20, uh, 4060s are when they come out, which is $299. So what we'll do is when I look and you'll see that you can build you a pretty nice system uh, for right around $990 with mail-in rebates and discounts. Uh, so not a bad deal. Now, this is currently what I live stream with last night, this very setup, single PC gaming and live streaming setup. Um, you could actually even, you know, find cheaper processors and motherboards if you wanted to and even a reduced price you could probably get one for around eight hundred dollars i would think uh including the 4060 it will give you a more than capable uh card for live streaming uh and you have everything you're going to want in one nice package uh av1 really is the future and i think if you want the combination of av1 and using the nvidia broadcast the noise suppression the background removal, all those nice little effects inside of OBS. And then I think that the 4060 is the way to go. It's the cheapest way to go right now. Uh, but the good thing is, is that if you've built you a nice gaming system with a higher tier 4000 series card, such as the 4080 or, you know, whatever's higher than that, probably the best single PC gaming solution that, that's out there because now you have AV1, which a year ago you couldn't even touch AV1 encoding because the only way to do it is through your CPU and there it was just super heavy on your CPU. You couldn't game with it. But now you have an AV1, the ability to do hardware AV1 encoding on your GPU, and you can do it without pretty much, I mean, minimal performance hit on your gaming PC. And if you have an upper end CPU, a nice GPU and you're using AV1, you're not going to really notice it anyway. So I think that's what I want to say about the 4060. I know that there's a lot of reviews out there. Most of the reviews out there are pretty negative concerning 
the what you get for the price. But I think when you take into account the fact that you also have AV1, you have NVIDIA Broadcast, and you could use this on your studio PC, streaming PC, to make content, I think that really does bring the value to about where it was. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing it about $30 to $50 cheaper. I think that's really where the value would be at. Um, but currently, the 4060 is the cheapest way to get both the broadcast and the AV1 functionality within OBS. So there you go. I appreciate NVIDIA sending me the uh, 4060 out here uh, to give it a test. I will have more videos coming out. I'm going to do some comparisons uh, using, uh, you know, the single PC solution that I have set up right now to show you the performance difference without using OBS as compared to streaming with OBS and just see how many FPS you actually lose. And I will definitely be using 2042 as the game because it's such a heavy, heavy uh, game to be used on a CPU and a GPU. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And uh, anyway, sorry for the short notice with it and the lack of edit or whatever. Uh, but it's something that I like literally just got the card installed yesterday. Just haven't had time to really play with it other than what I did last night. And I wanted to get this out because I think it's important with the other reviews that are coming out with the negative reviews because they're really not covering that aspect of this card at all so anyway guys thank you very much have a great day we'll see you later